So just going to do a quick video of, uh, it's a work video, kind of showing off some of the stuff that I do. It's a wind tower in Fort Nelson that I came in to put up last year. Uh, the customer did all the tower and everything. I just did the final on it. Um, it's a Whispering Winds 2000. Been up here for two days. Spent a bit longer than we needed to, waiting for parts. Uh, parts arrived this morning. This is the sea can we built, I think, four years ago. Um, 16 panels, 250s. Built the sea can at the shop. Uh, full power system. Has a uh, quad inverter. Charge controllers. Generator already in place, was shipped up and all hooked into the system to the house and the shop in two days. Um, batteries, L16 sealed, no maintenance batteries, no maintenance, no equalizing, no mess, no stink. Um, what else? Then fans in here, if it gets too hot. Stop switch for the generator or for the wind turbine, power panel. All this stuff was done at the shop and certified CSA approved as a whole unit. Um, yeah, everything was checked and running before it left. Has what is it? Twenty four batteries in here. And the inverter, each inverter is a 48 volt inverter at 4,400 watts. And they work together and turn on as needed as the demand needs. Um, these are the charge controllers for the wind turbine and dump loads right over here. That's the charge controller for the solar. And then I got package showed up today from the shop. New meter. Meter dang it. And what do we got in here? New fans. So replacing the fans in the inverter. Um, kind of per precautionary measure. Um, fans turn on as the load demands. As the inverters get warm, keeps everything cool, keeps the FET boards cool, cool the control board, and the uh, charging board. So I'll show a little bit of that once these are all open. Also changed the router out yesterday. Um, updated software on the new router, so has a few more features. Charges to 100%. Um, this also has a magweb, which goes outside to an antenna somewhere. I don't know where it has it on this one. And uh, basically, we can watch everything online and see what the issues are, the history, everything that's going on with the system. Um, and he can also check it out and see what's happening when he's not here, which is never, because that's where he works and lives, so. Yeah, so I'll, uh, get this open and just show what the insides look like. It'll be a little bit louder because I have to run the generator and bypass, so they still have power. Cause they're working today, of course. Okay, come back here. Got all the covers off. One last cover. Uh, there's a lot of screws. All these plates have to come off. And this cover has to come off. This inside. Oh, so the fans to replace there. The focus. There we go, focus. So these fans keep everything cool. You know, about every five years they 
should be replaced um, before failure. Things get too hot. These uh, boards here will overheat and fail. So just kind of doing it before failure. And so I'll replace these fans here. Those fans are out. And then I have two more to do. Put all the covers back on. Switch it over and just test everything out. Make sure it all works. Refocusing. There we go. So it's pretty busy in there. Overwhelming when you take the covers off. A lot of wiring and stuff going on. So anyway, these uh, inverters take it from a battery voltage, which is either 12, 24, or 48, and convert it to 120, 240. And then also the generator can charge 120, 240, charge batteries up when it's cloudy out, and there's not enough solar or wind coming in. So anyway, that's a little tour. Um, have the generator running in bypass. All the input breakers are off, the DC breakers from the batteries are off, the solar is off, and the wind tower is in stop so it doesn't freewheel and fly apart. It's not that windy, but it's better to just do all these precautions. So that's a tour of what I do. Thought about making these videos for a few years, but just finally doing it now. Wanted to do one when I do all these building because it's pretty interesting to some people, I guess, me. Anyhow, maybe I'll do one of those when I'm back in the shop and building all these again. And see what it takes. It's not as overwhelming when it's piece by piece. Anyhow, thanks, bye.